Well, hello, and welcome to Tech Report. We've been away for a little bit, uh, doing other videos, I was on the band trip, but the important part is we're back. Now, one of the simplest upgrades you can make to any computer is upgrading the RAM, yet so many people don't know how to do that. They'll go to a store, give it to them, and pay, you know, 50 bucks to have them do a simple procedure you could do in about 10 minutes. So today on Tech Report, we're going to show you how to upgrade the RAM of both a desktop and a laptop computer. All right, so we'll start with the desktop computer. I've got one right here. It's just your average run-of-the-mill computer. Um, 2 gigahertz AM Diathlon processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, but I want to upgrade it to a gig and a half. So that's a pretty simple procedure. As I've said before, what you want to do, pop the uh, back panel off the computer. There's usually two screws at the back that you can just pop out and the panel just comes right off. I've already got that done to save time. So, here you go, we've got the RAM module. You want to look at your motherboard, and if you don't know what the motherboard is, it's pretty obvious, it's the biggest circuit board in the computer that's got everything else plugged into it. And if you look at the motherboard, you should see two or three long, thin uh, slots, which look like it should fit this, your RAM module. That, those are your RAM slots, you can pop them in, you know, in either uh, two gigs, a gig, 512, or 256 megabytes. This computer already has a 512 megabyte, and I'm just going to pop in a one gig chip. It's a very simple procedure. Just locate your way inside the computer, pop in the RAM chip, and then there'll be two white levers on the side. Click them into place, and you're done. Then what you want to do is uh, close your computer back up, uh, turn it on, and uh, make sure that Windows or Linux or whatever operating system you're using detects that the RAM is there and you're good to go. So that, my friends, is how you upgrade RAM on a desktop computer. All right, now I'm going to show you how to install RAM in a laptop. It's much the same way, done much the same way, rather. Get your laptop. This is what laptop RAM looks like. It's a bit smaller than desktop RAM, obviously, and uh, usually more expensive, too. But anyway, that's not important. If you want to upgrade your RAM, cost is no barrier. So, uh, this is basically what the back of most laptops will look like. I've got an Acer Aspire here, but they all look pretty much the same. And then you've got to locate which panel is going to have your RAM underneath it. Usually it's the biggest panel. So, we'll just take our screwdriver here and uh, undo the screws. I've already got them loosened on this computer. And uh, open up the panel. It's a relatively simple procedure. And uh, this is probably what you're going to be looking at uh, when you open up your computer. I've got two RAM chips in mine. You might have one, you might have two. You're not telling what you might have. Right now it comes with two 512 megabyte chips of RAM, but uh, I'm going to upgrade it to a gig and a half, so I've got this one gig RAM chip that I'm going to pop in. So, um, you open up RAM by just uh, sliding, pushing the white buttons on either side. The RAM pops right up. Can yank it out, and then you've got your new chip. You install it. It's even easier to install than desktop RAM. Slide it in place, line it up, make sure it's nice and secure. Push down, and then it automatically locks in place. That's pretty much all you've got to do. Uh, then what you do is you just uh, pop in the um, pop the panel back into place, screw it back up. Turn on the computer and make sure that your operating system detects the RAM, which it should by default. And that, my friends, is how you install RAM in a laptop. Alright, finally today I just want to make one more comment. Not all RAM is created equally. This chip that I got, uh, that I was using to demonstrate the installation, I know is faulty. It's a gigabyte chip, but it's made by a company called uh, GB Micro. Not good RAM. I've tried uh, numerous different RAM modules from GB Micro, popping them in different computers, it doesn't work. So basically I would recommend Kingston or Comstar, those are probably your two best RAM dealers. That's all we've got for today's tech report, folks. So remember, stay hacking everyone. Yoink! Mine now, sucker! He's gonna regret that. What the hell? Blue screen of death? No! Uh, this is the 
bad ram chip, isn't it, Chris? You're right, it is. How'd you, how did you know? Uh, a little blue screen of death told me. Now, what are you still doing with this? Well, uh, you see, Kyle, I was showing our viewers what not to do. I see, I see. Well, do me a favor. Get rid of it already! We've had it for, like, over two months now. We no longer need it. For INET, this is Christopher destroying Kyle's laptop.